Hello there everybody, this is Graham, also known as a Collector 75, and welcome to another Transformers review. For this one, I am doing my first Transformers Prime review. Um, I wasn't actually planning on getting any of these figures, to be honest, because I, I tried watching the cartoon, but I couldn't really get into it. I mean, I watched some of the later ones featuring Unicron and that, and they weren't so bad, but something about it, I, I can't put my finger on it. Um, I don't know why. Um, anyway, but... I saw some of the toys, and um, Tesco's had an offer on, and so I got about £5 off this guy. Uh, and this is obviously the Voyager Megatron toy. Um, and I thought, do you know what, I bought it. But just before that, literally, I bought the Legends, or the Legends Commander, which is a little bit bigger, Megatron, which is actually really good as well. Um, but then I, thought, I saw this, and I thought, do you know what, I'm going to buy it. And I bought it with a few others. Um, I do have slight reservations about them, but we'll come to that. And this is obviously Megatron in his spaceship mode. Um, I don't really know anything about this. I've, like I said, I've hardly watched the cartoon. Um, I love all the translucent, sort of like purple bits on him here. I don't know if they're supposed to represent a dark energy on I'm not totally sure on that. Um, but, nevertheless, it is still a great looking, actually, uh, spaceship mode. Like Cybertronian spaceship. I think it looks really, really good. I love the, the giant gun on the back here. Uh, let me just take this off. There we go, it comes off there just like that. Um, and this does separate, you can take this off, it's like a weapon gauntlet thing for Megatron in robot mode. And this does have a gimmick, and if I'm honest, I fucking hate it, I think it's shit. And I hate all this mech tech shit, I think they're just pointless fucking gimmicks that is probably the worst one ever. And then they come out of a reason saying, <clears throat> because of that, oh we can make, we have to make the, the figures slightly smaller. Bullshit. Anyway, with this, all you, all you do is you... Um, clasp the middle section then push on the back and it flips this forward and as you can see it's got a little LED in there that's supposed to light up all this it doesn't work I don't know why they bothered um, maybe in the dark it would but as you can see all it does is lights up just the bits that it hits and doesn't really shine all the way to the end I think it's cobblers um, I wish they'd done something else with it but there we go he comes with it what can you do uh, we're gonna put that aside and now we're gonna come to transform this guy Again, I've got my instructions right by the side of me because I've only ever transformed this guy once and that was into this mode because obviously he comes in robot mode. Uh, so we're going to see what happens now. <laughs> right, so first of all, we just lift up the, these sections here. Then we are going to uh, flip these little sections away just in there like that. Then we are going to remove the legs totally from there. Oh, let me make sure you can actually see what I'm bloody doing here. There we go. So once you've untabbed them, there we are. And then you can see he's almost actually there now. Uh, then what we're going to do next, do we then fold these sections out? Sorry about this, guys. Uh, I thought this guy would actually be a lot easier to transform than he actually is. But then all we've got to do is um, basically open out his feet. Right, so this is going to rotate all the way around. And then we basically just lock this into position. Like so. It should go in there a little bit easier, isn't it? There we go. That's it. Uh, so then we get this little foot out. As you can see, it's on a like a rotational zone. Just rotate on that all around and then close it up. Has a little few little bits there, it just clips onto. And that's Megatron's feet done. Oh yeah, hang on, you've got to open that one out to the back there. And there are his legs. Uh, we're nearly getting there, aren't we? Uh, let me just have a look what I'm doing now. So we've done all that, blah, 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 blah. Uh, done all that, done all that, done all that. Uh, we're going to come around to the back here. We're going to open out the arm sections because they are tabbed in, I believe, in some fashion. There we go. Separate them. And then what we're going to do, we're going to do something with these. Here we go. There we are. I knew they were tabbed in there somehow. Like so, so you open out all this. Uh, I believe, before I'm supposed to do that actually, these are some sections that have to open out. There we go. They're going to open out. As you can see, now it reveals his head. Uh, we're getting there slowly, guys. Uh, that now rotates all the way up into that position. This is his abdomen section and his lower torso. This is going to flip all the way around. And then connects up with that. This is going to become part of his chest guard. These are going to become part of his arm guards. Uh, that rotates all the way around into there. Now you can start fucking about with his arms. And they come out like this. Into this position. 
these back wings here just rotate up and around. Let's get these out of the fucking way, eh? Then, while we're doing that, providing you haven't actually snapped any bits like I usually do, uh, you can start rotating this all around now. There we come his arm guards. And so this folds down. And should these now... I can't remember exactly how it all goes together, but... Leave that goes there like that. That goes there up there like that. That clips in. Then we rotate all this all around. And as you can see, with his arms out of the way, he's got a little tab just in there. That is going to fit just in that little tab section just in there. Providing you can get it in there. There we go. That's gone in there pretty well, I think. There we go, that's quite a cool one, isn't it? Right, so there we go, there's Megatron. And he's basically there now. We're going to fold out the arms. There we go, I think I need to turn them around first. There we go. He's got his cool little arms, like that. There we go, let's get his fucking legs out. There we go. And that's it, that's almost Megatron done. Then we've just got these back sections and you can fold these around any way you want. These will become like these little shoulder pads and these look actually pretty cool once you get these in position. Like that. And there's Megatron. In robot mode, uh, with these sections, you can either have them down like that or you can have them up like that. It's completely up to you in whatever angle you want. You can have them out like that, up like that. Doesn't really matter. I'm gonna keep mine up like that for a minute just because that's about the best pose I'm going to get with them. Uh, these little things here, that is about as far as you're going to go with those. Um, it looks very much like his uh, G1 self, if I'm honest. I love the legs. They've done a good job there. Problem is, um, it would have been good if he'd have swiveled at this knee joint, because he doesn't, and then it just doesn't give you the freedom. Or it would have been good if the feet had been on ball joints, but they're not. Uh, the, the back heel spur isn't particularly uh, strong, so he keeps tipping backwards, which can be a bit problematic. Uh, and when he's doing that, of course, his body leans forward. You know, he, he doesn't look too bad, if I'm honest. Um, I love the head sculpt. The head sculpt's pretty cool. Uh, you can get a little bit of movement, not too much out of the head. It will slightly turn, not too much, though. Uh, and then to give Megatron his usual motif, you've got his giant gun. That is going to stay in one of these bloody holes. Can't think which one now. Uh, how does it go on? Oh, there it is. Missed the tab completely. There we go. So that is going to go onto there. And so you can have Megatron with his usual sort of like fusion cannon. And I think that looks pretty cool. And you can put this, his little gauntlet, on any hand that you want. Uh, I can't remember exactly how it goes on now. I think you've got to put that through there, and then that will just clip in the sin in the place, and that gives him like a um, like a dueling weapon, a melee weapon, and that's pretty cool. I, I I do like this figure. It could have been a hell of a lot better if you ask me, um, but certainly <clears throat> not the worst. Uh, right, this is from Graham, the Collect Seventy Five. Actually, no, before I go, <clears throat> sorry, my my voice is going now. Just going to do a size comparison. I did buy a Wheeljack at the same time. As you can see, this is a Voyager, that's a Deluxe. And here we have Soundwave with him there. I bought Soundwave, I'm not too keen on Soundwave, if I'm honest with you. I think he's a bit of a, bit of a shit robot mode. But then this guy is what I bought the other day for £6.50. This is a Lockdown, and you can see him towering above Megatron there. And this is a deluxe size toy. Hmm. Yeah, so anyway, this has been Graham the Collector 75, a lot of review. And I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.